Does it ever annoy you that with these new smartphones with 6 inch plus displays, many elements of the UI still need you to reach to the top? There is a solution in the form of bottom quick settings, which when installed, allows you to swipe up from your navigation keys to bring up a control center. And in a way, it's a better version of what you have on top. It is completely customizable. You can change rows, columns, colors, and even take control over your notifications. The Neoline wallpaper is a live wallpaper unlike you've probably ever seen before. It has incredibly smooth 60 frame per second animation and because unlike most wallpapers that are designed, this is procedurally generated. So that means two things. It is always going to look a little different and when you're rotating your phone, you can look at it from almost any angle you want to, not just what it's been designed to show. From the same developer, you've also got the Zenta LED wallpaper, similarly vibrant and colourful, but with a little bit more character and something that's a little bit more personable. Most applications that are built to improve your focus and stop you getting distracted by your phone don't really work. This does. Welcome to a launcher called Less Phone. It puts your to-do list right on top, gives you a dialer and then just three or four apps that you can have quick access to. Apart from that, everything else is hidden away and you can still access it, but because Less Phone makes that process longer, you don't end up bothering unless you actually need to. There is also a dark theme for a small fee, which would save you a lot of battery considering most of the screen would just be black pixels here. For those of you who have busier home screens, what often works really well and better than using a photo wallpaper is using a flat color, or you can go a step further and introduce a gradient. That's where DYDX comes in, which allows you to either create a gradient of your choice or randomly make one itself, which means if you're ever getting bored, in the space of five seconds, you can have a completely different looking home screen. I guess the issue a lot of people have with their home screens though is that although you do get bored of having one home screen, you also don't want to change it because your current wallpaper is pretty good. That's where Wallpaper Modder comes in. It has a whole bunch of different utilities that enable you to tweak your existing wallpaper. You can do simple stuff like increase the contrast or boost the saturation to just spruce up an image, or you can invert it, which if you've got any kind of colored background, completely changes the way it looks without reducing its quality. In the last few episodes of Customize Your Android, I've introduced you guys to something called KLWP, a really quick way to download or even build your own amazing live wallpapers. Well, we can extend this. When you're editing any wallpaper within this application, you can add something they call a component, some sort of visual indicator. It could be a switch, it could be a button, it could be a progress bar. And once you've added this, you can configure it to show what you want to see. So you could configure the bar to show you your battery percentage, and you can configure the button so that when you press it, it'll map out the nearest route back home using public transport. If you're looking for some sort of widget to fit with Neoline wallpapers, this pack right here contains a whole selection of neon inspired ones, which pretty much slide into place. Sesame is a search feature built in partnership with Nova Launcher, so it seamlessly slips right in, and once configured, by pressing your home button while already on the home menu, you'll see a universal search page with quick access to contacts, files, apps, and web pages. It is super fast and also pretty clean looking. Alright, one really good way of customizing your Android phone, completely changing the look, is to introduce new icons. And there is a superhero icon pack which only has 20 to 30 different options to pick from, so it doesn't replace your main icon pack, but instead adds to it. So all you do is just pick a few icons that you're not a huge fan of, or that you use really often and you want them to be different or exciting in some way, and just swap those ones out, and all of a sudden you've got a sort of centerpiece to your setup. And as long as you pick something that's still colour coordinated, you shouldn't have a problem recognising it. So now that we're talking about icons, for those of you who juggle a whole bunch of different icon packs, Iconzy is a really useful tool with three main features. One, it lets you search for icons based on roughly what they show. You can save any icon straight to your gallery. And if you're trying to find a replacement for an icon that doesn't quite fit your current setup, then this can scan it and recommend alternatives. 
Reddit is quite a great but also pretty underutilized platform for finding wallpapers for Android. A wallpaper has to be pretty good before it's going to get voted anywhere near the top of a subreddit. And so this application, Red Papers, scours these subreddits and automatically updates your wallpaper every week, every day, or even every hour with what is currently trending. If you enjoyed this video, I've got loads more Customize Your Android episodes, so I'll leave those linked to this video. And as always, my name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.